Hey guys, back, back here with another really quick video. This time I'm just going to talk about and show you the effect of the IBIS in still mode using the Nikon Z6, both with the FTZ adapter and the 24-70 set to f4 and the native 35mm f1.8s Z series lens on the Nikon Z6. So obviously in the when using the adapted lenses, you're only getting the three axis stabilization. And when you use the Nikon's uh, native Z lenses, you're getting the full five axis. Now there's no stabilization on the 24 to 72 8 here, as well as the 35 millimeter F 1.8 S. The S does not stand for stabilized. You can see in my samples here, the uh, five axis really does pretty good. In my, in my quick test, what I did is I shot it at one fourth of a second at f4 at ISO 3200 on 24 to 70 set to 35 millimeter, and I also did a one second exposure at f14 to kind of keep the exposures uh, consistent in terms of you know overall illumination. But I was pretty impressed. But I'm never going to handhold it at one second. But I just wanted to see if I could do it. It wasn't bad. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't go below, you know, one fourth of a second. But without stabilization, as you can see, it's totally blurred out. But when you actually turn the stabilization on, the IBIS, it actually does pretty good in stills. Now in video, like the previous example I showed you, it didn't do that great because it kind of does a bit of a little bit of wobbling going on, especially when you're using the electronic uh, VR in conjunction with the standard stabilization. So in video, you're getting two stabilization. You're getting the IBIS sensor shift and the EVR, the electronic stabilization, which kind of crops off the top and the bottom a little bit. And it kind of, you know, jello effect a little bit in that way. But in stills, you're only getting the sensor shift. And in that sense, it did pretty good. I was really impressed.